Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video, let's take a look at our favorite semiconductors, NVIDIA to start off with and then we'll take a look at AMD, SMCI, ARM, Broadcom and Micron. So we do have some strength coming back in on NVIDIA and I did talk about a little bit on this um, yesterday as well and from a couple of last few days that this area that we are seeing just above 102 all the way to 106 if this level can hold that's a good sign because this is where we have had previous consolidations and uh, at $97 the very important structural support that we have had prior to the last prior to the last earnings so this the, these are like the earnings prior to the last earnings right so and we had a change of structure so we are still holding all of that structure and this is where we are seeing some consolidation now today as we were talking about 106 dollars and 30 cents is the level to watch above this as if we can close above it and we did close good and we did close above it which we'll take a look at in this video that possibility of strength can continue to the upside but there's one more level right above it. Are we above that as well? That is $109. We'll take a look at that in just a second. I want to show you overall structure first of all. That is still negative and that may still continue to remain bearish but on the overall side. However, as we break above some levels that I'll just talk about, the rebound can continue in with some strength. It's important that though we break those levels. So let's jump for that to the lower time frames right away all right so first of all taking a look at the hourly interval and what are we seeing is that we are finally turning green and above the well most importantly above the cloud that's a most important sign and that brings me to talk about this level of 109 and 39 cents area that i'll just revisit in just a second but let's go to the five minutes interval first and this is where I want to show you first and I still have my tool on when the market opened we had a rejection I talked about this in the morning as well at 109 and 40 cents area and thereafter we just remained red guys in the structure bearish bearish right it did try to turn a little bit bullish here but it couldn't and eventually it just failed it stayed below the cloud or into the cloud with the red structure this is where structure changed again with good strength green and we started to see upside and upside and structure just remained green there's actually another item here and that is if i go to my that very tool and i change it to flow this helps him to understand just you know where we are dealing with the bullish structure and where we are dealing with the bearish structure so you can see this is where the strength came and it's a good strength right it's it's a good strength overall on nvidia for the other second half of the day now what are the levels to watch for tomorrow right so let's go to the hourly interval back again and guys it all comes down to again that very level of 109 and 45 cents it that will what will open up the doors to 115 zone or 200 hours moving average as it's coming down until there we have a possibility above 109 but that's something nvidia needs to get above to make that move because if it can't well then that rebound is not coming and the, until that's even above 109 the reason i'm saying it's a rebound my structural indicator this easy day and swing trading will show the colors automatically on day daily interval in that accordance but we do have an this pivot zone that is right now not acted upon and this is still a resistance of a strong resistance zone in my opinion and we may run into the supply zone and may do some more pullbacks and sell off but we'll see but the levels to watch tomorrow is 109 and 109 and 40 cents above if we break above it tomorrow it's a good upside play otherwise if we reject here i would say then don't just go short right away you are watching still this reference line here we can still try to hold this line right even if we come up here and reject watch this line though 
However, if any time we again lose 106 and 31 cents, that's again a problem. All right, that's a significant level. Losing that is definitely a problem then. All right, just keep that in mind. So that's pretty much it. It's, it's showing a good strength and that rebound can continue on NVIDIA as per the levels I talked about. And $109 level is just a zone of a little bit of a caution. And also for the reasons that as I have been showing you short volume data as well on NVIDIA, especially. Um, this 36, 37 back up here, we had high short volume. On NVIDIA, anything above 30 is considered high. And here we have 36, 33%. Um, so that is all this 36% here is at $109 almost. So that's why and you can see multiple rejections at that level already. So that's why it's only above that. I expect some squeeze to happen that may push us to the next level of resistance, but that will be 115. We may not fully turn bullish for the long term right away, but we might start to roll over some strength into the intraday plays to the upside above $109. And 106 and 30 cents area below guys as I said it's a little bit of a more problem than you know, to the downside if we, if we lose that so that's pretty much to watch here guys on Nvidia right for um, even you know tomorrow and even from there after most price action will revolve around this area but we'll talk about day by day as how things are evolving things are right now looking good let's see if we see a continuation to go high up but those would be the levels to watch on NVIDIA for tomorrow and with the trend line that I provided you. AMD is doing some dance with us here guys today. This thing seems like it's trying to go up. So finally it seems like that bounce is coming in strong on this. So overall structure you might still see that we are in the red here and let me do it in the attentive mode as well. Overall structure though is still not full on bullish but it's still a good price action for what we have here and this is something i talked about we might see some continuation of the rebounds right so let's go to the hourly interval here and the level to watch for that uh, was pretty much this level in the morning also i talked about 20 and 50 hours moving average and 136 and 78 and staying above it we are fine below this is a problem we continued higher up. Now we have another test here though. That is underneath rejection of 200 hours moving average. Tomorrow you are watching this level, 141 and 13 cents. Potential support, if we lose it, there may be a problem, but also follow this trend line. As long as we are not breaking it, you might be fine as well, even in this little bit of rebounds that coming to the upside. So let's see what it does you know we have a 200 hours moving average coming from the top and um, but there is it's in the intraday upside not on the overall swing bullish but intraday upside it's doing that and may continue a little bit higher up here so just keep that in mind and amd is also looking good right now all right let's take a look at smci so SMCI, unfortunately, guys, didn't get above 419. So thus still keeping it as in the uh, overall negative structure, guys. Um, you are still watching that very level, 419. If it can get above it, that's great. If it can't, well, then there is still a problem. All right. Um, so and this is where you if you take a look at the structure and structure is still negative on smci here all right so yeah it's just that level guys this 419 area with 419 to 420 area pretty much this zone if you get above it it can continue upside otherwise no arm arm we turned the structure bullish on this yesterday and today you can see that any sell-off that came got bought back up. So, yep, it's in the bullish structure. And today we are just seeing a little bit of a continuation of that to the upside. Can it continue higher tomorrow more? Let's go to the hourly interval. It's right at that line, guys. So 200 hours moving average. If we get above it tomorrow, continue. It can continue higher up. And also, um, unless we are not now breaking below 124 and 46 cents it will intraday remain will remain in the bullish structure 
and you'll have to then see if pullbacks would hold this level if pullback happens but it's right at that area if more upside has to come it's finding a coincidence here with confluence 200 hours moving average and 20 days moving average right around here right so uh, but yeah it's a good candle and structure we have right now in the uptrend as well on our broadcom so broadcom no surprise well why no surprise well i talked about this level yesterday 140 above this we can continue higher up and we are getting that today guys we are getting that move so if uh, it's a rebound move though okay hourly interval this is the very level i talked to you guys yesterday and we are above this we are bullish as long as now broadcom stays above the level of 144 and 56 cents nothing to worry on this thing micron so and again have a trailing stop loss guys right okay micron the way it has closed it's an interesting price structure even though price structure right now hasn't turned bullish it is still a bearish but what the good stuff that i'm seeing here is there's a good buying happening down here which with the previous double bottom now if micron can get above this level of 87 dollars and 85 cents you may see some upside on this thing and it may continue higher all right so there's a possibility and for that you are watching 87 and 90 cents uh, i know previously i have said that i also want to see it above 90 dollars so that still remains a valid point guys but there's a block a little bit of a block to the upside can come now if it get above 87 and 86 cents that can push us to 90 dollars somewhere here so that's a possibility all right so that's that all right guys well that's it for this video and there will be um and if you need access to my tools links are in the description below of this video and um and yeah i'll see you in my next videos um and if well my junior trader dividend investing channel link is also in the description of this video that's where i'm talking about some of the moves that i have done today and i'll be doing a video later today and it will come out on that channel i have sold some more tesla etf and bought a few other things i'll talk about that in those videos in that channel all right see you in the next videos guys and as i said links to my tools are in the description of this video all right bye